I know I'm a pretty simple guy. You know, I've um, been really lucky to have the chance to have a career. And um, I don't know, I just have always tried to keep it simple. In Hollywood, fame and fortune go hand in hand, but not for everyone. Most of the hot shots in the industry have ended up broke. But how does someone with millions in the bank fall into financial ruin? It all lies in bad decisions, mismanagement of wealth, and failed investments. From private jets to state-of-the-art buildings, many of these stars lived lavishly without thinking about their futures. As the curtains closed on the spotlight, so did their money vanish. Join us as we uncover the stories of Hollywood actors who went from grace to grass and are actually poor today. Gary Coleman. Gary Coleman became famous as the lovable Arnold Jackson on different strokes. Kimberly, how about something cold to drink? He played the role in various shows throughout his career. Despite his success, Coleman later sued his adoptive parents and former business advisors for mishandling his money. After his sitcom days, life took a downturn. The childlike innocence that made him famous didn't help him in other roles. His acting jobs dried up, and so did his money due to fraud and mismanagement. In 1993, four years after the lawsuit, Coleman was awarded nearly $1.3 million in damages. Unfortunately, the money didn't last long. Legal fees drained much of it. Coleman had to work as a security guard to make ends meet. He took any job he could find. By 1999, he declared bankruptcy. From financial struggles to legal battles, fame can't always be a saving grace. Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds was one of the most iconic actors in Hollywood. He had it all, including many successful films, an album, and several businesses. He even had a big chance to make a fortune of $80,000. But by 1996, the Smokey and the Bandit star was in financial trouble. Bad investments, a costly divorce from Lonnie Anderson, lawsuits, and his extravagant lifestyle led him to file for bankruptcy. Reports said he was $13 million in debt. Reynolds' money problems were caused by poor investments and his messy divorce from Anderson. He had bought multiple properties and a private jet and spent $100,000 on parties. He also claimed that punching director Dick Richards cost him 500,000. Because of his financial troubles, Reynolds had to keep working later in his career. We're going in the rocket chair, honey. Good. Sometimes taking on less reliable roles. From big roles to big debt, this next actor became poor because of debt. Kim Bassinger. After starring in hit films like Nine and a Half Weeks, released in 1986, and Batman, released in 1989 by Tim Burton, Kim Basinger agreed to appear in Boxing Helena after Madonna dropped out. But as the filming date approached, Basinger also backed out. In response, the studio sued her for millions, and she lost the case. To the industry, she was seen as unreliable or untrustworthy. She was ordered to pay the studio $8.9 million. Afterward, Bassinger filed for bankruptcy and appealed the decision. The case was eventually settled for $3.8 million, instead of the original $8.9 million. She had made everything, only to lose it all in a single moment. The film itself didn't do well when it was released. Director Jennifer Lynch even received a Golden Raspberry Award for Worst Director in 1994. This next actor went poor because of addiction. Judy Garland. Today, Judy Garland is remembered as a cultural icon from Hollywood's golden age. She first became famous as a teenager in The Wizard of Oz, released in 1939. From the outside, it seemed like she had it all. But behind the scenes, things were far from perfect. There were rumors that Garland's management had embezzled money. Filmmakers at Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer were also accused of forcing her to take diet pills. These pills led to a lifetime of substance use problems and mental health struggles. Off screen, the pills helped Garland get through depression and the exhausting work schedule. At least four doctors were prescribing them to her. However, the effects of the substances were hidden from the audience. In the end, all of this took a toll on her finances. By late 1968, Garland was reportedly broke. She owed the Internal Revenue Service thousands of dollars 
and was only making $100 a night singing in London bars. Lots of people got rich off of me, Garland said. My children didn't get rich. I didn't get rich. The man who managed her career and money, she said, robbed her blind. From iconic stardom to financial ruins, how did this next star lose it all? Keep watching to find out. Stephen Baldwin. Stephen Baldwin is a well-known director, producer, and actor. He's famous for roles in films like The Usual Suspects, Eight Seconds, and Biodome. He's also appeared on reality shows like Celebrity Apprentice and Celebrity Big Brother. In 2009, Baldwin was forced to file for bankruptcy after failing to pay taxes and mortgages. This left him deeply in debt. He managed to get back on his feet for a time, but soon fell into his old habits. In 2017, his house was foreclosed after he refused to pay his mortgage for six years. He was also arrested for not paying taxes for three years. With so many financial troubles, we can only hope Stephen Baldwin has decided to turn his life around. Being tagged as one of Hollywood's sweethearts couldn't save this next star from bankruptcy. Jennifer Lawrence. At just 22, Jennifer Lawrence earned an Oscar and millions of dollars. Her hard work and success have made her one of the highest paid actresses, with an estimated net worth of $160 million. Yet, she doesn't live like a queen in a castle. After her breakthrough, instead of buying a massive mansion or indulging in lavish extravagance, she stayed in her modest two-bedroom apartment. The house, once owned by Jessica Simpson, is far from flashy. One famous story of Jennifer's humility involves a couch. After winning her Oscar, she decided to treat herself to something nice, a new sofa. But instead of going for a pricey designer piece, she spent $25,000. While that might seem like a lot, in Hollywood terms, it's nearly thrifty. She has humorously said that it's the most luxurious thing she's ever bought. And looking at it makes her feel like she's living in style. When it comes to cars, Jennifer Lawrence keeps it simple. While her Hollywood peers zoom around in Ferraris and Lamborghinis, Jennifer was content driving a Volkswagen Eos, a convertible that's more girl next door than a diva. Later, she upgraded to a Chevrolet Volt, a plug-in hybrid that shows her care for the environment and her confidence in not needing a flashy ride. In a fashion-obsessed industry, Jennifer's style is refreshingly low-key. She's been known to recycle outfits, something almost unheard of in Hollywood. Jennifer jokes in interviews that she doesn't really care about fashion and is happiest in sweatpants, spending time with her dog when she's not working. Perhaps the most heartwarming sign of Jennifer's down-to-earth nature is her dedication to charity. She has donated significant amounts to causes she's passionate about. She even founded the Jennifer Lawrence Foundation, which supports organizations like the Boys and Girls Clubs of America and the Special Olympics. Jennifer Lawrence has also been a strong advocate for gender equality, using her platform to speak out about pay gaps in Hollywood. In an industry where stars are often known more for their lavish lifestyles than their work, she stands apart. Jennifer has joked about being bad with money, but it might just be because she's not interested in wasting it on things she doesn't need. She prefers to focus on living a simple, authentic life, whether that's eating pizza in her pajamas or spending time with her family back in Louisville, Kentucky. While many celebrities are busy buying private islands or gold-plating their phones, Jennifer is happy living like an everyday person. Turns out living lavishly wasn't the best option for this next Hollywood actor. Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage is one of Hollywood's biggest stars today. He's an Academy Award-winning actor, known for roles in action films like National Treasure and Ghost Rider. He's also one of the highest paid celebrities in the world. In 2009, he earned $40 million from acting alone. Despite his huge earnings, Cage is famous for his spending habits. Between 1996 and 2011, he wasted $150 million on cars, multiple houses, and rare items. In 2007, after not paying his taxes, Cage realized he was in serious financial trouble. He had to sell many of his expensive possessions to get back on track. This next star went broke from giving just too much. Keanu Reeves. 
Keanu Reeves, the Canadian actor best known for his roles in iconic films like The Matrix and John Wick, has an estimated net worth of $380 million as of 2024. His wealth largely comes from a successful acting career that began in the 1980s with films like Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Speed, and Point Break. However, The Matrix trilogy made him a global superstar, with his earnings from the franchise surpassing $200 million. But his journey hasn't been without hardship. Reeves had a difficult upbringing after his father left when he was only three years old. Raised primarily by his mother, who frequently moved for work, he faced instability that shaped his grounded outlook on life. Over the years, Keanu has endured deep personal losses, including the death of his close friend River Phoenix from a substance overdose and the tragic loss of his partner, Jennifer Syme, who passed away in a car accident after suffering a miscarriage. These heart-wrenching experiences profoundly influenced his worldview, fostering empathy and humility. Reeves has often shared how these tragedies have deepened his appreciation for life and the people around him, leading him to avoid the flashy lifestyle common in Hollywood. He resides in a relatively simple apartment in Los Angeles, a stark contrast to the sprawling mansions of many of his peers. When it comes to cars, he doesn't flaunt his wealth. He drives a Honda Accord, a reliable and practical choice that reflects his humble nature. His love for motorcycles, however, shines through. He co-founded Arch Motorcycle, a company specializing in custom bikes. Given his quiet demeanor, Keanu Reeves's modest lifestyle allows him to concentrate on what truly matters, giving back. He has donated millions to children's hospitals and cancer research, often without seeking recognition. His generosity is legendary. For example, he once gifted a significant portion of his earnings from The Matrix to the film's crew, ensuring they were compensated fairly for their hard work. When asked about his wealth, Reeves has said, money is the last thing I think about. This perspective is refreshing in an industry often consumed by materialism. Despite this next star's global fame, financial struggles and costly mistakes took their toll on her. Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts has also long been regarded as America's sweetheart, thanks to her infectious smile and captivating performances. With a career that spans over three decades and more than 50 films, she has become a household name and a box office powerhouse. Her ability to earn between $10 million and $20 million per film has contributed to her estimated net worth of $140 million. However, don't let that impressive figure mislead you. This pretty woman possesses some surprisingly frugal habits. Born in Smyrna, Georgia in 1967, Roberts grew up in a modest household, which instilled in her a strong work ethic and down-to-earth values. These qualities have stayed with her throughout her rise to stardom. She began her journey in Hollywood with small roles in late 1980s television series, but her breakout role in Mystic Pizza launched her into the spotlight. Instead of indulging in high-end designer boutiques, she has often been seen sifting through secondhand shops and vintage stores, always searching for a bargain. It's not uncommon to spot her at local grocery stores with reusable bags in tow, a habit that could be seen as environmentally conscious or simply budget-friendly, but is admirable regardless. She has expressed her intention to raise her children with similar values, often dressing them in hand-me-downs from friends. This approach not only imparts important lessons about materialism, but also shows that even Hollywood royalty can value simplicity. Even though Julia Roberts is frugal, not quite like the Lord of the Rings cast, who still drives a Mini Cooper. I was a quick lacer. I was really good at lacing. Elijah Woods. Elijah Wood, with a net worth of $20 million, shows that it's possible to be a Hollywood star without the excess. While some celebrities are busy constructing their own personal palaces, Wood has opted for a charming Victorian-style home in Austin, Texas. This 1890s fixer-upper resembles a cozy hobbit hole more than a sprawling Rivendell, featuring high ceilings and vintage charm, making it the perfect retreat for an actor who once bore the weight of Middle Earth on his shoulders. His biggest indulgence is audio equipment for his home. Forget private jets and yacht parties. 
Frodo finds joy in spinning vinyl records. It seems the only rings that capture his interest these days are of the audio kind. As for his rides, wood keeps it practical. No flashy sports cars or limousines for this hobbit at heart. He drives an Audi and a Mini Cooper ideal for zipping away from any persistent paparazzi. After all, when you've outrun ring wraiths, Louisiana traffic is a breeze. But it's not just about living modestly. Wood has a big heart to match his big, hairy feet. He is known for his philanthropic efforts, always keeping others in mind. It's as if he combined Sam's loyalty with Frodo's compassion to create a down-to-earth Hollywood persona. You might be thinking, sure, it's easy to be frugal when you're worth $20 million. However, in the land of Hollywood, where paychecks can reach Mount Doom-sized proportions, Wood's net worth is more bag-end than Lonely Mountain. Yet he seems perfectly content with his situation, finding joy in simple pleasures like a rare $300 vinyl. This next Hollywood star once had over $20 million in debt. What theater are we going to? Uh, AMC. Wayne Newton. Wayne Newton is a famous singer and actor known for hits like Daddy, Don't You Walk So Fast and his signature song, Danka Shun. He gained even more fame as a lounge singer in Las Vegas, Nevada. In 1983, he was the highest paid performer in the United States. However, nearly a decade later, Newton filed for bankruptcy and was 20 million in debt. He eventually paid off the debt, but just as he was getting back on his feet, he was sued by the Internal Revenue Service for unpaid taxes after selling a house. In 2010, his property was seized due to another failure to pay taxes. Newton was forced to turn it into a public attraction to settle the debt. Today, despite still finding some success in his work, Wayne Newton is facing financial struggles. This next star went from a real housewife star to becoming a fraud and debtor. All those people who made Las Vegas what it is in terms of performers, you know. Teresa Giudice. Teresa Giudice is best known for starring on The Real Housewives of New Jersey. In 2009, she and her husband Joe filed for bankruptcy, claiming they owed $10 million. However, creditors found out they were hiding money, and both were charged with fraud and conspiracy to commit wire and bank fraud. It wasn't until 2016 that the couple settled the case. Even today, they are still paying back taxes owed to the Internal Revenue Service. Sadly, this next star became poor due to medical bills. But I mean, you know, and then the Jersey Shore kids, they're, you know, they're young kids having a great time. God bless them, they're making a ton of money. David Cassidy. David Cassidy was a star in the musical sitcom, The Partridge Family. He also found success as a singer, songwriter, and guitarist. At the height of his career, he sold over 25 million records. However, multiple driving under the influence and health issues caused him to lose money. In 2015, he filed for bankruptcy. The year before, he had divorced his wife, Sue Shepard, and spent a lot of money to finance the divorce. By 2017, a year after his divorce was finalized, Cassidy passed away. The following year, it was revealed through a voice recording that Cassidy had lied about having dementia. At six o'clock, and I worked all day long. My lunch hours were taken up with photo sessions and interviews. His health problems were mostly caused by alcoholism. Next, let's talk about a star who would love to show up in a hot dog outfit. Lady Gaga. Whether she's making a statement at the Grammys in a giant egg or strutting her stuff in raw beef, Lady Gaga is the epitome of flamboyance. Yet beneath the glitter and eye-catching couture, lies a surprisingly grounded lifestyle. With an impressive net worth of $330 million, you might expect her to be swimming in diamonds every morning. Instead, she is often found hunting for bargains and clipping coupons at the grocery store. Before she became the iconic mother monster we know today, Lady Gaga lived in a modest one-room apartment in Manhattan's Lower East Side. Even after skyrocketing to fame with chart-topping hits like Poker Face and Bad Romance, she opted to stay in her $1,100 a month home. It wasn't until later that she traded her tiny digs for a stunning $22.5 million mansion in Malibu, a well-deserved upgrade after years of cramped living. Despite her extravagant costumes, 
Lady Gaga surprised her manager by avoiding credit card debt. Her secret? I spend no money at all, she confessed. Rather than splurging on luxury items, she prioritized hiring paranormal experts to cleanse her new mansion of ghosts. Although Gaga loves to show up in ridiculous outfits, this next person spends a small fraction of her monthly income, leaving the rest to savings. Zoe Deschanel. Zoe Deschanel is an American actress and musician known for her roles in The Good Girl and Elf. With a net worth of $25 million, Zoe demonstrates that living well doesn't necessitate immense wealth. Her home in the Hollywood Hills isn't a sprawling mansion decked out with gold-plated faucets and crystal chandeliers. Instead, she purchased her cozy modern retreat for just $1.69 million. Unlike her on-screen character, Jess, who would transform any space into a hipster paradise filled with mason jars, Zoe's residence exudes mid-century elegance rather than whimsical charm. It's the kind of place where one can envision sipping tea while strumming a ukulele. Simple, stylish, and inviting. When it comes to finances, Zoe is as meticulous as Schmidt is about cleanliness. Her monthly expenses amount to a small fraction of her income, leaving ample room for savings. During her divorce proceedings, it was revealed that she spent about $22,500 a month from her $95,000 income. Quite impressive, right? Plus, she maintains a glorious zero balance on her credit cards. Zoe's wardrobe choices reflect her practical mindset. She bypasses designer labels to shop at thrift stores, proving that true style is about individuality rather than price. As she wisely states, Style isn't about purchasing the most expensive items. The transition from a Hollywood heartthrob to facing financial challenges is this next star's story. Kira Knightley. Kira Knightley, known for her roles in period films and as a daring star in Pirates of the Caribbean, has an estimated worth of $80 million. However, she lives more like a sensible heroine from a Jane Austen story than a glamorous Hollywood star. Her financial habits would impress even Mr. Darcy. Kira only spends about $5,000 a year on personal items. While Elizabeth Swan enjoyed a pirate's treasure, Kira is satisfied with an allowance that could barely cover Captain Jack Sparrow's rum expenses. Kira's family life is as simple as her wedding. The ceremony was so small, it had fewer guests than a typical pirate crew. Her wedding dress was a recycled Chanel piece that she wore multiple times before. Talk about combining style with sustainability. Even with her blockbuster roles in films like Atonement and The Imitation Game, along with a profitable Chanel endorsement, Kira avoids a flashy lifestyle. She believes that excessive living can create distance from everyday people. Kira's financial wisdom was evident during her divorce proceedings. It came to light that her company, Kick Bulow Limited, earned $2.5 million from film fees and contracts. Yet, she paid herself only about $53,000. Kira's choices make her relatable and down-to-earth. Once a vampire, now struggling to stay afloat in Hollywood. Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson is an actor, known for his role in the Twilight series. Although he has been ranked as one of Hollywood's most paid actors, Robert doesn't live to the tale. Pattinson's living situation also reflects his unique approach to fame. For a while, he rented a tiny house in Hollywood that was far from luxurious. This residence resembled a converted junkyard, described as a quasi-garbage dump with a non-functional hot tub and a pool that looked like a pond. He appreciated this place for its seclusion, which allowed him to escape the public eye. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.